mold is a natural part of the environment, but exposure to elevated levels of it in the places we live, work, go to school, or spend time can cause potential health issues for some individuals. Mold is known to be an allergen, irritant, asthma trigger, and in some cases, the cause of opportunistic infections or the source of toxic substances known as mycotoxins. Allergic reactions to mold are common, reports the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. These can be immediate or delayed and may include hay fever type symptoms, such as sneezing, runny nose, red eyes, and skin rash. Mold can even cause an asthma attack in some people with asthma who are allergic to mold. The agency also states that mold exposure can irritate the eyes, skin, nose, throat, and lungs of both mold allergic and non-allergic people. Breathing elevated levels of mold may even cause hypersensitivity pneumonitis, a condition that resembles bacterial pneumonia. In addition, exposure to some types of mold may result in opportunistic infections in people who have a weakened or suppressed immune system. It's important to note that mold will quickly begin to grow on many building materials, furnishings, and personal belongings when enough moisture is present indoors. Fortunately, there are ways to prevent mold growth by controlling humidity, preventing water damage, and quickly responding to water damage if it does occur. There are also professionals dedicated to testing and mitigating exposure risks to mold in the built environment. These are just a few of the many things to know about mold exposure and potential health effects. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, infection control, building science, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the websites shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.